Nathan Judo. I'm here with Walsall reporter Joe Massey. And Joe, finally, Walsall have got a new permanent manager. Yeah, finally. It's the news we've all been waiting for, the news many of us expected. We all expected John Whitney to be confirmed as boss, but finally, yeah, it's broke this morning. He's actually signed a three year deal with the club. Really good news for Walsall FC. Very interesting one in terms of that three year contract. They've been very patient with their managers in the past. Walsall, of course, with Dean Smith, they gave him a lot of time. Mm -hmm. They weren't patient, of course, for Sean O'Driscoll. He only lasted 16 games in charge, but very much looks like Walsall back to the old way. John Whitney's the man they want, and by giving him three years, it looks like they're going to give him the time to build the team he wants to build, and fingers crossed, get him in the championship, go one better from last season. And he deserved it, didn't he? Because he really turned things around since the departure of Sean O'Driscoll. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's such a positive, infectious, enthusiastic character. I mean, he did just lift the club. Um, great record in terms of League One once he did replace Sean O'Driscoll. I think his 13 or 14 games he managed in League One. Um, I think he won nine of those mm -hmm. games. Of course, there was a disappointment in the playoffs where they lost to Barnsley. I, um, I think it was 6-1 on aggregate, lost mm -hmm. both games over two legs. But I think we all saw just what a good side Barnsley mm -hmm. were. Comfortably beat uh, Millwall at Wembley. And they would have been top of League One had it started at the start of 2016. So Wolves were really unlucky with that draw, really. Yes. Barnsley just the informed side. So yeah, on terms of his record, he really does deserve it. And now, fingers crossed, he'll be able to go one better next season. I'm sure it'll be good for him now to, to get his own ideas across for, for next season, have a full pre-season with the team. Yeah, well, you say his own ideas, but the, the, the key with Walsall is this philosophy they've been building for such a long time. I mean, Whitney has been at the club for the past 13 mm -hmm. years. Um, they do things the Walsall way. Whitney in the past has talked about this boot room, like the Anfield boot room, that yeah. sort of bringing players through. I think it's very, very important that Walsall have their own man, someone who's embedded in the club, someone who knows how it works and someone who the players understand what exactly what's going to be implemented. Sean O'Driscoll came in, don't want to use the term outsider, but he didn't quite grasp what the club was about. There's absolutely no qualms about that at all with John Whitney. Mm -hmm. He knows how things have to be done and he will he, I'm sure he'll do them. I'm sure he'll do a fantastic job. I'm sure one of the first main things he's gonna to have to do is try and keep some of the star players as well. Well, that's the big issue now, isn't it? We've got we've got the news on, on the manager, and that'll be news <laughs> on the contracts for the players. We know we'll sort of offer deals to practically all, all of their first-team squad, different 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 years with those deals. Mm -hmm. Romain Soy's been offered three years, for example, likes of Jason Dimitri, two two-year deals. I think most of the players are on holiday at the moment, so sure. it's, gonna, it's still a case of waiting and seeing on that one. But great news. Whitney, great character, will give absolutely everything he possibly can to the job. You never have to question his work rate or desire. He will leave no stunned unturned to make sure Walsall are successful next season. And he'll give it, give it everything he got, and I think it's going to be really exciting mm -hmm. to see a starting eleven fully in John Whitney's mould. John Whitney is the new Warsaw manager, and for the latest on this one, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.